Your Pro Filter Foundation shade by Fenty Beauty is 300 and you're still not really sure of what Pro Filter concealer you should be getting or powder you should be getting, well I'm here to help you. Just keep on watching. Hey hey, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining me for this review. Today we're going to be talking about the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer and also the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I do hope that this video is helpful. If you've tried this concealer and you would recommend it, please feel free to tell people down below what your foundation shade is as well as your concealer shade because let's help others find their Fenty Beauty match I suppose. I'm not sponsored by them in any shape or form and it's so exciting to see that she actually expanded her foundation range so there are now 50 foundations as well as 50 uh, concealer shades so let's get right into the review. Okay, so I have done my eye makeup and we're just gonna step into the Fenty face, I suppose. So for primer, I'm gonna be using the Pro Filter Primer by Fenty Beauty. And interestingly enough, it's the primer I've been going for the most because not only is it like pore filling, which I usually shy away from because I'm dry skin, it's actually quite hydrating. So I really love that about so yes. moving on to foundation, we're going to be using of course the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and my shade is in 300. So when I first reviewed this foundation, which you can find over here, I went with the shade 310 and it was a very warm and that is what it's categorized as actually. So it has really this really prominent yellow undertone, whereas this one 300 is just warm and it's not as yellow. So I personally prefer applying it with a beauty sponge and actually not the beauty blender because when I used to use the beauty blender, I preferred applying it with, with a brush. But ever since I got the Juno, it just works perfectly fine because it's kind of like a hybrid. One thing about this foundation is you have to kind of work fast with it because it dries fast. I do have to say that since I'm dry skin, I take extra care with this foundation in particular to moisturize and then it works amazing. So anywhere that needs a little extra love, bring it down to the neck. Like do you see what a perfect match that is? I didn't go a lot under here because obviously I'm gonna be using the concealers to you know remedy that situation but recently actually even without having to review this i don't put as much foundation around the eye area because concealer is going there anyway and i don't want it to cake too much so um for concealer i first bought 280 and tried it and it was way too neutral because i thought it would be the best shade corresponding my foundation which i thought was neutral for some reason but it is warm so i returned that and when i went into stores to try out a couple like in person because when i got the 280 i just like kind of eyeballed it on Sephora's website. So when I went in stores, I actually tried out a couple. And the first, um, when I looked at 218 comparison to 260 and 290, I realized like, yeah, it's way too neutral. So I ended up getting 260. Then I went home and I watched a couple of Fenty Beauty uh, videos that they have up on their uh, YouTube channel and the makeup artist, I don't know why her name is just escaping my mind right now, anyway, said that if you're 300 and your concealer is 300, it's not going to be the same color. It's going to be a bit lighter, but in the same undertone. So I decided, ah, frick, maybe I should have gotten 300. So I ended up getting 300, so we're going to be uh, trying them next to each other. So this is the foundation shade 300. This is the concealer shade 300. And this is the concealer shade 260. So 260, you can see, is a bit lighter than 300, but it's still that warm undertone. So, so I'm first gonna go in with 300, and so it looks like this. I really like it because it's the same, you know, shape as the uh, foundation. And what I love the most about this is actually the applicator. So it's really flat, and then it goes like this. So you can have, really have like that nice 
precision when you're trying you know to highlight which is usually a little bit annoying when the the, the whole thing is like huge. apply 300 mostly in this area and I know not to use a lot because like this stretches out quite a lot and I'm gonna be using my Juno sponge I'm just gonna work that in like I could actually just get away with just wearing like 300 it is still relatively lighter than my actual foundation And look at how much it's just stretched out like wow and I find that like the foundation um, I know the, 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 the devil's word is like oxidizes but it does set a little bit like the foundation sets into like a, its actual shade I suppose and now I'm gonna go in with 260 to highlight Again, this one. And I'm gonna go in again with that 260 and just highlight a little bit more like these areas, higher parts of my face. And just come in here a little bit. So if you want something that's more the color of your concealer to like really conceal like spots and stuff like that like ooh, that's really light um i would go higher than 300. Ooh, before i forget i actually have the powder so i also got the pro filter uh instant retouch setting powder and i took it in color banana because I don't have any banana colored um, powder. I used to own the Ben Nye, but I never actually wore it because it was like way, way, way too yellow for my skin. And I just looked crazy and I was just like sad <laughs> of not getting in on the fun of the whole like banana powder. So I've actually used this. So yeah, when I did use it under my under eye the other day, I actually also used and set with the powder. And oh my gosh, this powder smells so good but it's not an overpowering scent and the packaging is so luxurious so it looks like this and it just goes like this it has the little fb inside it but i don't want to make a mess out of it so i'm gonna do what i always do and it is quite banana-y but it's not like yellow so and it's really brightening so i'm just gonna you know use my sponge Use the other side, tap all the excess and just press it in. So I don't usually really bake bake, I just set by just pressing in the product into my skin till it disappears. And look at how, ooh, I love that. Just pressing it in. And you have to make sure for this method for your sponge to be quite damp, so it really does become one with your skin like oh this is so pretty and I put some everywhere yay I'm gonna go in with my contour and for that I'm gonna be using the matchsticks in truffle love this stuff and I'm just gonna apply it here 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 and I find that the best way to blend this product is with a very dense brush because if it's too, if it's not dense enough, it doesn't blend it and it can actually become really streaky. Whereas a super dense brush, and this one is the Real Techniques one, it just like, it just blends it into the skin. I don't even need to heat up the product beforehand. It just blends. And I'm just gonna apply some of my all over setting powder and this is the one by Laura Mercier. It's the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder and this is in number three. I'm aware of it still just like that and then right before the rest I'm gonna apply some Morphe continuous setting mist like I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you see how flawless this is looking like look at that oh 
Like it just looked like, you know. Glow out from within, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna apply some blush. And for blush, I'm gonna be using the Sigma Cor de Rosa blush. I really love this. So for highlighter, I'm actually hesitating between Mean Money and Hustla Baby by Fenty Beauty. Or how many carrots? Anyway, I think I'm gonna go with how many carrots. Ooh, look at that. It just looks so wet. Actually, I'm gonna chisel my my cheeks a little bit I'm actually gonna go in with mean money over here to highlight my nose a little bit and then actually just a little bit just push all the excess I'm gonna use now, before I forget, bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm going to be using the using the Mineralize MAC Skin Finish in Dark. Just light brushing on top of my nose. Give that in the sun. Yo, there we go. Okay, what am I left with? Ooh. I'm gonna set my face with the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And for lips, I'm gonna use a little bit of cork on my MAC. And I'm gonna go in with Unbutton by Fatty Beauty. And I'm gonna go in with some gloss and for that I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb in Fussy. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna check out how all the gloss bombs look on me. Like I have all three and I did a little video on Instagram, so check me out. Mm. It's been about an hour or so since I finished filming this whole look and nothing has budged which is totally normal because I wore this the other like I've been wearing this foundation for at least five days now and one of the days I went to the airport with my sister to drop her off I was out and about running right left and center and I even cried a little bit at the airport because I didn't want her to leave and my foundation my concealer like everything stayed in place usually when I cry I have the little like cry lines over here but I didn't have any of that I just had to like tap it off a little bit with my um, blotterazzi and everything looked really flawless everything was still on my cheeks I know it's not a foundation review but for those who are interested this information is not you know it, it's good information I guess I suppose but uh, one thing I really do have to say about these concealers is um, when you first apply it I advise that you use a really damp beauty sponge to apply because I remember and a clean one as well because I remember using my dirty Juno sponge and it didn't blend really nicely and flawlessly so make sure it's like nice and damp so you can actually like really blend everything if you're the kind of person who blends with your fingers even better um, I'm not one to usually blend my concealers uh, with a brush but I guess you'll have to you have enough time to work with let's say like a precision brush like it I think it came out with a kind of like precision brush to blend to blend out the concealer unlike the foundation you do have some working time like it doesn't um, dry down as fast as the foundation but I do feel that it does set into its color like the first color you see when you apply it the first time is not the final color you get when everything is like nice and set so another thing is this product plays well with other products I don't know 
I, I, I guess it's an expression I like to use, but it's nice to know that you do not need the Fenty Pro Filter to have this work perfectly fine. Like it worked really well with my uh, Charlotte Tilbury, um, what you might call it, um, Wonder Light, like the light foundation. It worked really well with my NARS foundation as well. Um, and also setting it, you're not obligated to set with this powder. This powder is in the shade Banana. And I, like I said earlier, I don't, I didn't have anything similar. I mostly had like translucent powders. And this one is a little bit yellower and it is brightening for sure. It has a little scent to it. It's nothing overpowering, so you don't feel like like you don't smell like this all the time. But it is really pleasant to open it and have this like whiff of like it's giving me vanilla pastry vibes, like something vanilla y, and it's like even like vanilla and almond a little bit. It has that like scent to it, and it's really really pleasant. Works really well with my Juno sponge, like all my other. Um, powders and I think it goes without saying but I feel like especially in recent years um, companies are formulating their translucent powders uh, thinner and thinner like it's very soft very buttery smooth and I really like that and one thing I like I have to say about this powder that I really like is that it's not drying like, so you know I am dry skin and that is one of my fears and usually what I do to remedy to that is have like some sort of like setting mist um, on hand to help, you know, bring back some moisture to the face. I really loved about it compared to like the Kat Von D one is like it doesn't create like when once it's set, it's set like nothing is moving and it I feel like it kind of creates a barrier. I don't know if it's that or my uh, setting spray, but like I said, I didn't have like the little like tear like stri streaks uh, when I cried with them. Um, <laughs> with this i know it's, it sounds weird but i feel like it's a good uh you know it's a it's a good test you know if you can cry with it and everything still looks perfect you're good to go and so yeah and i just like how it feels like it's so luxurious and it's i don't know it's so pretty comes in eight different shades i took banana because i like using setting powders to like set under my eyes i don't usually use setting powders all over my face except for the Laura Mercier glow because it gives you that glow and it sets at the same time I usually you like to use something pressed to set my whole face if that's the case not really something loose but this is really really nice and really brightening as well underneath so um, would I recommend this concealer most definitely I would say it's pretty good when it comes to creasing because I'm starting to have like little fine lines here and I would always have them but it doesn't crease as bad which is really nice and actually like it just goes into like this line and then around it it's just like perfectly fine it doesn't move or anything so yes I really do like this I do feel that yes it is waterproof indeed uh, obviously the combo of all three is like perfection but it works really well with others so that's even better in my opinion so there you have it this was my review i do hope that it was helpful if it was please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and also click on that uh, subscribe button if you haven't done it already be sure to check me out on instagram and i'll see you next time bye